And for the 754th time... Chin, jawline. <sighs> well, my balls are empty. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, let's talk about this revealing of the bat suit. Somewhat. Um, that everybody, of course, is talking about right now. And, uh, of course, people are loving, mainly. And, of course, people are hating. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Matt Reeves and posting this camera test. Because that's what it was. Camera test with score. That's right. With the fucking score. And it's beautiful. Michael Giacchino? I'm probably saying his name wrong, and I apologize. I'm bad with names. Uh, I'm supplying that score. Oh my God. it's I mean, it's beautiful. It's haunting. It's got the piano. It seems like it's uplifting, and then it just trails off. I mean, that's that's one of the first things that hits you in the face. I mean, obviously, him hits you in the face, but with the, the buildup, and then it gets to a point, and then it, it veers off. It's pretty damn... Pretty damn awesome, but uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> I mean, obviously, the first thing that everybody's thinking of is, uh, what the fuck is Daredevil doing with a bat suit on? Yeah, the red kind of throws you off, and a lot of people are going like, oh my god, Daredevil vibes. I mean, that's what I said, too. And I'm sure Matt Reeves is like, shit, we're going to get that. But, I mean, obviously, there's a theme here, because the title that we saw on the slate for the Batman, the font was in red. There's something about red that's just going to play a factor here in this plot. So, uh, anyways, first off... When it comes into focus, obviously it zeroes in on the bat logo of the chest of the suit and uh, definitely unique and definitely has Arkham vibes. A lot of armor, almost mech-like, which is interesting because we were wondering, is there going to be, well, there was rumors like, oh, is it just going to be a normal just cloth? You know, he's just going to risk it and just be a ninja? No, he's got, he's got armor, which does make sense, but a lot of people are focusing on what is going on with this bat logo. And the big thing that I've seen a lot of is, oh my god, these are pieces of Joe Chill's gun. Batman is going to have that on his chest to remind him, and it's just pieces of that. And I went, eh? Now, of course, that was featured in the comic books where he took the gun, but he melted it down and added it as padding underneath the suit. He didn't make the logo out of it. But a lot of people were running with that, and I was like, okay. I mean, obviously, it is possible, but to me, it doesn't look like any kind of pieces of a gun. Do you know any guns that kind of look like that? I mean, it's two distinct shapes that are formed the same. But I've never seen a gun look like that. A lot of people are also thinking maybe it's a battering and he's just going to take it and, fly and throw it at people. And I'm going, yeah, that could be it too. But I'm almost thinking just the way that the design is with all the little hooks and everything that are on him. And what if, what if this has to do mm, something with the grappling gun? Or maybe it's a form of grappling gun itself. I mean, imagine just going chimp, boom, kump, and you could do your bat wing thing and look all cool as opposed to just having one arm up or latching it onto your belt, which could actually give you a pretty severe lower back injury. You know, your center of gravity is right there. And if your top part, you know, you're getting pulled like that. Imagine being pulled by your chest and then you can just grab your cape and make it look all fucking cool. I'm probably wrong. But you look at the edges of the wings, it's like very blade-like, you know, the blade. It's like it's got like sharp edges and not, and not to mention that it's been scraped up. It's been used. So that's why I don't think it's part of Joe Chill's gun. I mean, I like the sentiment. I like the fact that that would be very interesting and there's a, you know, there's obviously the comic book actually showed that at one point, but I'm just I just don't believe it is that. Then we got the cape. Yes, we got some shoulderness going on, so very much like uh, the Noel-ish costume. We got a collar, which some people are like, what the fuck? 
Batman's got a pop collar with the fucking 80s? It's different. It's different. I mean, I really cannot wait to see this in full color. This red light district shit is interesting, but I, I, I don't know. I'm digging the collar. But then you get to the mask. The mask, okay? <sighs> and he definitely made this costume himself. And I think that's what they're going for right here. Um, the costume is stitched. It's a leather mask that is stitched up. You can see it. It's stitched. The fact of the matter is, of course, he's hiding the ears, so we don't know if the ears are long, medium, or fucking short. I'm going to go with they're most likely short. I don't think they're going to go with long ears here. But the mask almost doesn't even, like, fit properly, you know, like, on the nose. Even though it looks, I don't know, it looks interesting. And like I said, Pattinson has an excellent jawline, and he has a good chin, too. I mean, of course, it's not as good as Ben Affleck's chin, but the jawline is definitely there, and it actually pretty much works and there's no lenses in there unless they're going to add something later i doubt that but you actually see his eyeball and of course it's going to be the blackened eyes as usual but i'm just wondering well, show us those fucking ears it's going to be interesting to see the full bat suit reveal and you know they did this because they're going to be shooting and if they're going to be outside i don't know it's going to be interesting to see what happens with all that i did a video yesterday where they're obviously not going to have batman out in the open you know, day sh day shooting or anything like that. They're going to have them in the studios on the set. But Batmobile, obviously there's going to have to be somebody in there. And then maybe, yeah, maybe he will exit the Batmobile. I didn't think about that. I didn't take that in consideration. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see the entire suit. Um, I'm digging what they're showing us right now. It's, it's unique. It's different. Like I said, Arkham Vibes meets... Daredevil. I don't think this bat suit's gonna. I think it's gonna evolve. If the, if Matt Reeves definitely has a trilogy that's going on, it's going to evolve into something else. It's gonna be. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, but yeah, a new, a unique way camera test, similar to what they did with Joker camera test, to reveal the look of things, which I think that's a pretty cool way to go. It's it's just interesting that they chose that Todd Phillips, and Matt Reeves chose to do a camera test to reveal certain things. That's 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 pretty interesting, but. Uh, I'm curious to see. I mean, nothing's ever gonna beat seeing that 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 the uh, the Batflex suit. I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. You know, standing next to the Batmobile and just looking with a fat bat, and everybody's just like, "Oh my God!" Short ears, fat bat, and uh, black and white, all monochrome and everything. I mean, that that is pretty crazy stuff. But this was a great way to uh, introduce this bat suit, and I'm looking forward to see it. You know, full on, so we can study it more but i've been watching this and like i said that score is just fucking haunting and i love it anyways guys let me know your thoughts about it down below what did you think of the reveal of the bat suit hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind subscribe to my channel it's filmjunkie.com for all my content follow me in the sock man's over there twitter instagram facebook patreon if you want to help out and of course shirts down below all right guys